Live from the roof, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Your command score, boy. An exciting game of pursuit from the basement to the attic. In this episode, Ravensburgers race to the roof. Game, the board game. Quick, to the roof. To the to the board game room. All right, here we go. It's the roof. I mean, um, it's race to the roof game. Raven Brothers race to the roof. Get the, the board game. Um. Now you're gonna get these play markers here. All right, and here's a die. All right, and you get these cards. Okay. All right, nice sturdy cardboard tiles or cards, and they're gonna have objects on them. Okay. So here, here's how it's gonna play. <clears throat> or <laughs> cute little hamster. All right. Yeah, it looks like the Russell Stouffer chocolate for Easter. Dun, dun, dun. All right, you're gonna get um this puzzle piece board, <clears throat> and you gotta race to the roof. Okay, so you gotta keep you gotta set up the game, and it's not gonna look like it makes any total sense at all whatsoever to what this is gonna look like in the house. Okay. I've never seen anybody's house like this before in my whole entire life. No offense. Never. I'm just saying. But anyway, it's it. So, you could put, you know, Grandpa in the kitchen there. Yeah, you walk in, you, it's somebody's kitchen, yeah. And then, yeah, okay. Th there's a bedroom. There's, um, you know, um, the baby's room. There's a bathroom. Okay. So now, you got, you know... Another bedroom there. But now all of a sudden you got the living room upstairs with them having like a uh, tea and cake and coffee and cake or whatever, a coffee clutchin. While the kitchen's down there and the living room's all the way, who knows where the heck. I mean, come on. How so now you got like another. I don't get it, man. But I'm only kidding. I'm just making a joke about it. That's all. Just... So you got you got another kitchen upstairs. How how many people live in this house? It's the whole family. <laughs> the whole neighborhood's living in this house. Alright. So, okay, so once again I'm just kidding around. So no offense, never, I'm just saying. But anyway, it's that you get this game now. And you gotta put all these tiles here like this, right? Okay. So now each person draws this tile. And that's what they got to look for in this game. So it's played like a little bit like Where's Waldo, okay? You're going to have to find... This thing is a pain to find, okay? I'm not going to take the whole episode to try to find it. Because that would be annoying to you. Okay? And me too. But this was a real total capital B, if you know what I mean, to find. And I just couldn't find it at all whatsoever. But that's all you got to do. If you land on a red spot, um, let, let me just give you the whole lowdown. Each player tries to, to be the first to bring his or her playing piece from the front door. Okay, the front door. To the skylight in the attic. Alright. Now. You're going to carefully. Um, set the game up and. Connect the two large cardboard pieces together. Like I did. That represents the house. Or the hotel. The whole neighborhood. Whatever. Just kidding. So now. 
you're going to okay they do not be placed you, you place the 16 room cards all in the house okay right side up no i'm gonna put it upside down so it's gonna be like lionel richie dancing on the ceiling Oh, what a feeling. These people were dancing on the ceiling. Oh, okay. All right, so anyway. Well, they're going to be <laughs> dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> well, I'm going to be running right by them like tortoise in the hair. Okay, so anyway. So, here's what you do. Uh, they do not need to be placed in any particular order. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> I gotta stop joking around about this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But me and my friend were playing this game. We played that. We played the dice out of this game, man. We played the player markers out of this game. It was so much fun. We must have played it like, like, like 20, 40 freaking times, all right? <laughs> the game was amazing. <clears throat> Okay, so now you're going to place the 16 rooms right side up on the playing board where indicated, okay? They do not need to be placed in any particular order, which allows for a different game every time, which is pretty cool. Shuffle the chance cards, okay? And uh, place them in a face in a, in a face down. You're going to put them face down a table. Each player chooses a playing piece and places it at the front door, lower left-hand corner. The side of the board, youngest player starts. So right at the arrow, at the steps, is where you're going to start. And then you're going to go one, two, three, okay? So now the game rules. If you're the first player, you're going to roll a die. All right? And I got three. So I go one, two, three, okay? So now um, you're going to roll a die and move forward the number of spaces shown. Now it's the next player's turn. No, crap, really? I thought it was, uh, you know, I don't know. If you roll a six, I mean, come on, Vance, a kid's game. Of course the instructions in the game is going to be like this. I'm sorry. All right, just kidding around. Have a laugh. Relax. Okay, so now if you roll six, you must draw a chance card. Okay, okay, now I remember now. So I played the heck out of this game, and I don't even remember how the heck to play this game. So, all right, so now if you roll a six, you must draw a chance card, okay? So, you're gonna take one of these cards from the top of the pile and turn it over. The object showing the card is to be found somewhere in the house. So, now you gotta look for that. Yeah, you gotta look for the, the glass of milk with the straw in it, uh, the biscuits in the bowl, all right, the bucket of water with the rag in it, all right, the rag, all right. So now, um, the object showing the card is what you gotta look for. So it will be smaller and perhaps slightly hidden. Slightly hidden? It took me for days to find this thing, okay? So, I don't know what the heck they're talking about. But anyway, it's, it's, so now... So, um, there may be other similar looking objects in the house, but there's only one that looks exactly like the card that you drew. So now, once you've found the object... Other players can help you find it, okay? But you're going to move your playing piece to the red space just below it, okay? So once you find it, see, like, if, if you draw this card, these red dots give you clues on what part of this card in the area that it's going to be in. So this golden rabbit, now I find it in 10 seconds, you know, while making this video. It's right there. Now, who the heck's going to find that? Jeez, Louisiana, man. Okay, so anyway, you're going to do that, and you're going to go around. All right, would you quit hitting the laugh button, please, Ben? I said. All right, so the object's showing the cards, what you got to look for. Now, there may be others. Okay, so once you, okay, uh, once you found the object, other players can help you find it okay but you may be able to take a great leap forward and then again so you may have to go backwards okay now 
uh, put the chance card back in the game box and do not use it again during the game. Okay, the turn passes to the next player. It may be, it may, it may, it may happen that all the chance cards are used up before the game has ended. And in this case, you're going to roll a six. Simply move forward six spaces. You must each, uh, you must each reach the attic skylight on a direct throw. Okay, so if you are four spaces away from the skylight, you must roll a four to move into the space. If you roll a three, well, then obviously you're not going to be able to freaking get there. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so you must reach the attic skylight on a direct throw. If you're four spaces away, you got to roll a four. Okay. So now, but if you roll a five, you lose your turn and you may not advance. The end of the game, the first player to reach the attic skylight on a direct throw wins the game. And that is race to the roof. All right, now let's go see what my final thoughts about the game is. Okay, so remember, when you find the object, when you when you roll a six, okay, you got to find the, you got to draw one of these cards. All right? Now, I got to find this thing, okay? So where the heck am I going to find that? So you're going to look all over, you're going to analyze these, like a robotic scanner, okay? And you're going to try to find this thing. Once you find it, you go to that dot, that red dot, okay? And then, so, when, when, so let's just say, for example, you're here, and you roll a six, you got to draw one of these things now, and just when you get back up there again, now you got to go all the way and try to find this this thing or this thing the uh the the teapot and then the teapot's probably all the way yeah it's down here so now you got you're just about to win right now all of a sudden you got to go all the way down and go over here what the heck oh man that's a pain in the neck isn't it jeez so that's how you play the game basically pretty much you're going to be going running rampant all the way around here and running rampant all around your table because you're getting so ticked off because you can't, you know, just play the game and go forward and win the game and go here. But, you know, that's for sore losers. Sore losers do that. But that's not really a sore loser. That's just some guy going crazy because he can't make it to the house. He's trying to make it to the top of the house and he's got to keep on landing on red spaces and everything. Every time he's got to draw a card, he's going to get interrupted and get sent all the way back down somewhere, somehow, some way. And now. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna drive you nuts. Race to race to the roof. It's gonna race me to the hospital or whatever. <laughs> oh man. I tell you, I tell you. Alright, I'll tell you about the game. Alright, so final thoughts. Now what do I think about this game? Wow, 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 wow. This game is awesome. I love this game so much. I love it. It's a pain in the rear end. But the game is so cool. I love it. It's so fun. I play this game anytime. Even if I go crazy. I'm running rampant around the table. Can you imagine me going running around the table like, Son of a gun, I can't get there. <laughs> I used to do that. But, you know, like when I, when I wasn't used to the game. But um, it, it was just, it was so monotonously, ridiculously crazy. Like, you had to find these little dot-sized pictures of these images on the car, like a teddy bear. You know, where the heck is the teddy bear going to be in all this mess? You got to find it, you know? And all of a sudden, you find a teddy bear, is like, or the socks or whatever, the, the, the towel, whatever, the, the guy's hat. Is at the last spot, and you're you're trying to roll that dice to get to the top of the roof, right? And all of a sudden, you roll a six, and it's like, you know, son of a gun. Now you gotta go all the way back downstairs and try to get that object that you gotta find. Who the heck wants to do that? <laughs> God, man, I tell you. But this game, it's a cute, cool, fun, fast action-packed fun game racing to the roof 
but it's a cool game. It, it's annoying, but it, it's I don't care about that. You know, it's it, it's a cool game. I like this game a lot. That's Raven Brothers Race to the Roof game. It's a board game. That's it for today, everybody. Looks like this game is over. Board game freak out. I'm gonna freak out while playing this game one of these days. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Da 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 da